Spain's first full day of election campaigning has been overshadowed by outrage at a court verdict acquitting five men of rape because their 14-year-old victim was unconscious during the attack. The defendants were found guilty of sexual abuse, but the court said their actions didn't amount to rape as they didn't use violence or intimidation. Well, women's rights groups are demanding a change in the law, but political parties have yet to take up the issue with the question of Catalan independence still dominating the election debate. The Socialist Party, led by acting Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez, is leading in the polls, but is losing ground to the far-right Vox Party and the populist People's Party. Well, with more on these latest developments, let's go now to Simon Hunter, the editor of Al País English, joining me now from Madrid. Good to see you, Simon. Thank you for joining us. Can you give Hi us there. a sense of how the parties have been responding to this verdict? We've seen outrage from women's groups, but what, from, what about the leaders? Well, the Socialist Party, which, as you said, is leading in the polls, has actually declined to comment on, on this case. Um, I was looking earlier on at the Popular Party, the uh, Conservative Popular Party manifesto ahead of these elections, and they don't actually specifically mention a uh, change to the law in terms of rape and sexual abuse, something that the Socialist Party has explicitly come out and said uh, that it will change. Um, so the Popular Party definitely steering clear. The Socialist Party are keen to make changes because I think there is widespread recognition, not just with this case, but also with the previous running of the Bulls uh, rape case, that um, Spain's uh, sexual assault laws just simply aren't um, fit for purpose at the moment. The former government of the Popular Party did set up a commission to investigate uh, this issue after the running of the Bulls verdict. But because we've got this sort of um, political paralysis at the moment in Spain, we're just about to go into our fourth general election in four years. Nothing has actually been done about the issue. And of course, a case like this just serves to hammer home again the fact that the changes really are needed to the laws as they stand. Well, um, Simon, I've been seeing on the Vox Party, the far right party's Twitter account, they're saying only the Vox Party is going to take a hard line on this. Why are the other parties not making this a campaign issue? It's clear that Vox see it as something people care about. Why are the others steering clear? Well, the issue with Vox is what Vox has done in that tweet is to draw attention to the fact that these uh, defendants were not of Spanish origin, which is something that in, its, in uh, the media reporting is very careful uh, not to draw attention to the uh, origin of, these, uh, of the defendants in a case like this um, on the basis that it can stoke uh, racism and it can stoke racism towards um, certain uh, minority groups uh, within Spanish society. Um, so... Uh, as to why the other parties uh, aren't going into it, well, this is just the first day of campaigning. This is, uh, they are focusing on, on other issues. But uh, to be frank, the way that Vox, uh, the, you know, the, the policies that Vox has been espousing, uh, it's not surprising that they are perhaps the only party to come explicitly come out and, and, and draw attention to this case. Just earlier in the week, the leader of Vox was reading out the names of people who in Madrid were receiving uh, government benefits and drawing attention to the fact that they had non-Spanish surnames. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of the approach that Vox is taking uh, towards immigration uh, ahead of these elections. Indeed. Uh, Simon Hunter, thank you very much for helping us make sense of that uh, deeply divisive and very important issue there in the midst of that election campaign. Thank you very much.